may try and get aggressive. He's totally me up. It's up to you whether or not you want to hit me or whether you want to back off. Just keep your cool, buddy, all right? Everybody's got the same problem as you. Stay calm, okay? Stay cool, okay? My name is Etienne Borja, car number two from a GT Racing Team. So we're at the second to last weekend of the, of the, of the championship. We've had a tough season. Uh, always been there fighting for like a position. We've had like two third places, a few fourth, fifth and sixth places. So I'm always there, but I never had a big, uh, big chance of winning a race. I mean, we, we still haven't won a race, but we're second in the, in the point standings and it's getting closer and closer to the end and the points gap is not that big. We can win, it's going to be a close call, but we can win the championship for sure. You know, you, you could be fast at the racetrack but not finish, that doesn't count. I mean, you're not, you're not scoring points. Finishing the podium for him is not important. The, the, what is important is finish the race to have points for the championship and this mine was better for this team to, to go to this direction. If you don't finish the first and it's not important. The important is finish all race to have the championship and this team have what, what you need to, to do this. We're 48 points behind so we need 10 positions right now. I mean if we go 3-4 here and then 3-4 on Saturday at ICAR and then another 3-4 then we did it. Uh, we, we have to stay consistent and, and you know make sure we're there at the end. How's your nerves and anxiety before going on to a brand new track? Such about I'm more excited. I've been wanting to, 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 to go on the track for years now. And with the CTCC, I mean, because I raced here 12 years ago. A little nervous because it's different configuration than we're used to with lots of, lots of uh, uh, double corners. So uh, we'll see. I'm ready. <laughs> been driving, walking the track. All right, guys, let's go. and. Uh... Let's uh, learn this track. How important is practice on a brand new track? Uh, it's very important because you get to know to know the track, know how the car feels on the track. You get the overall feeling of uh, how it's going to be for the rest of the weekend. The vibe that the other uh, competitors give you, and it's very important to feel it. Just so you know, we're uh, only two seconds off uh, for Saint-Jean Domingue. Tough to learn the breaking points. But at least we have something to talk about with uh, Philip and uh, look at the computer to check if everything's fine. But then it's uh, it's nice, it's fun. It's fun, but it takes it takes a few laps to get comfortable. That's for sure. So I always need like one session and think about it. Talk with uh, my co-driver and. Um, it will be, there'll be a big improvement at the next session, that's for sure. You need to find three seconds. Maybe. Three seconds. Maybe. Maybe more. Ah. We have some secrets still, so I don't know. Because it's a red flag now. The goal was to go out and on, on, uh, just to see if the condition of the track has changed or not. We'll try to save the tower, make sure we get that good one lap on those towers. Okay, save the towers, save the towers, come in, come in slowly. Let's see now what we can do. We 
we're still three seconds up, so if we can at least get the front row, that, that would be perfect. Roll, roll, roll. Roll. Not that bad. P3? No, f uh, P4. I think in the last lap uh, above Ventral, it was faster than I was, so P4. But I was P3 for most of the session, I think. So the, the job that this afternoon and tomorrow will be to uh, look at the data, analyze everything, look at the car, and then be ready for the race tomorrow and just race without thinking too much. How can someone who overanalyzes everything not think too much? That's the, that's the secret. That's the secret. You have to think, but not too much. So that's, that's the Etienne Bourgeois philosophy. Yeah. As a driver, it's absolutely critical to know that the oil fitting your engine either on the track or on the street, is going to give you the reliability and performance that you need. As a professional race car driver, I trust Castrol Edge. Because when you're on the racetrack, the last thing you want to do is worry about reliability and performance issues with your oil. Castrol Edge maintains power under extreme conditions on the racetrack. Keep performance strong with proven wear protection. It gives me the protection and performance I need to go out on the racetrack. For over 100 years, Castrol has been technology leader in motor oil, and that's why I trust it in my car. Castrol. It's more than oil, it's liquid engineering. He seems to commit, I mean, you said he's a bit too cautious, but is he capable of winning a championship being so cautious? He is, he's not too cautious. He's the kind of driver that, that every team needs. He's the driver that's gonna take care of the car, baby the car when it needs to be babied, and he's gonna push as hard as he can within these limits. So you, after, after. you don't think you're overly cautious now? I've been overly cautious so far, <laughs> so I'm trying not to be from 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 now on. As I said, like the car, I know I feel comfortable like pushing the car hard now, and uh, so there's no. It's a balance, like as you say, it's a balance. It, it will depend on who is around me on the track. It, it, this is always something that you try to, to to figure out. Like there's some guys that are quick. I don't like uh, Nick Whitmer, Mathieu, that, but they're not fighting for a championship. I don't know. I'm I'm going there just to do. My main objective is to be on the podium. Taking risks to be a little, a little like a, taking a second chance or in a place where I can risk uh, being uh, like hit and get out of the track for sure. I might think about it like twice, but uh, I'm there to be in the podium. That's for sure. Get ready. Good, 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 good. When the race started, I'm pretty happy about my start. I was ready. I was on it. But there was a lot of people coming in corner one, which is pretty tight after after the front straight. So I just wanted to hold position, but not get into risk uh, of, of of getting out and, at this time. After like two or three corners, like most people like got their position, and we kept that until we came back to the for the first like the lap or two. be smiling but uh, again uh, you know the race not over but uh, our main competitor is out so uh, fingers crossed manage the race manage the race book is out manage the race for Fene la course the question of people to render it's said that uh, they have a overheating engine and this is not good because when they overheating the the timing will go off and you have no more power. Race your car, drive your line, look in front. Look in front. Race your car, drive your line. Let Nico buy, it doesn't matter, let Nico buy, that's it. Don't don't fight him, let him buy. So where's the team? But it's in his third for now. They have more, less power in this business. Okay, slowing down is one thing, but uh, Fenton is right behind you, and uh, Gravel is attempting a pass at Fenton. So don't get too comfortable. Checkered flag, your P3, bud. Checkered flag, P3. Oh, that feels good. Yes, nice job, P3, man. P3, nice job. Told you. New track you never know what to expect. Woo!
Ça va bien, mon homme? Yes! Ça, ça veut dire qu'on est premier au championnat et qu'on est troisième. Oui, sûr! Yes, sir! Exactly what we wanted or needed just happened, so... I need to nurse the car. All the cars were like exploding the engines one after the other, so... So I need to nurse the car, especially after three rivers. I didn't feel comfortable like pushing the car 10 and 10. It paid. Podium and I'm first right now, I think, in the championship. First time for everyone, didn't know what to expect from the track. I have to say we're so we're really happy with the results for sure because we're now leading a championship and uh, with one podium. And we're going to ICAR, which is, I would say, my turf. That's my track. We're not chasing now, we're being chased. So, uh, yeah. you know, it puts us in a nice position. We're comfortable where we are right now. And uh, we're going to push. We want the number one plate on that car next year. So we're happy right now.